So something that happened is really, really important. We now notice that I have um, my product. Remember, I, I'm sorry, I put the, um, the multiplication dot and the addition below. So therefore, Josh, what I need to do is I need to multiply two numbers to give me a negative 18. So no longer do both of my factors have to be positive. So now I look at negative 18 and I say, what two numbers multiply to give me negative 18. And remember, for it to be negative, one of those factors has to be negative, right? Because a positive times a positive gives you a positive, and a negative times a negative is going to also give you a positive. So now let's look at the negative factors. I can have negative 18 times 1, or I could have 18 times negative 1, right? Do both of those provide you with a negative 18? Yes. Do either of those, when added up, give you a 3? So let's look at the next one. Negative 9 times 2 and 9 times negative 2. So just make sure, guys, you have to check both these solutions because when you add these, you get different numbers. Negative 9, negative 9 plus 2, I know multiply that gives you 18, but when you add them, negative 9 plus 2 gives you a negative 7, and 9 plus a negative 2 gives you a positive 7. But again, do they give us a 3? Nope. No. So let me work on the next one. 6, negative 6 times 3, and 6 times <laughs> negative 3. Again, both of those multiply to give you a negative 18. And do one of those add to give you a positive 3? No. Well, here's the trick, OK? Um, to get them to see which one is going to give you a positive 3, remember, this has to be positive. So therefore, since my middle term is positive, the larger of my two factors has to also be positive. Therefore, if you look at what's 6 plus a negative number? 6, I'm sorry, 6 plus negative 3. 6 plus negative 3, guys, gives you positive 3. So therefore, my two problems are, or my two factors here are going to be 6 and negative 3. Okay? Now, for this video, I'm going to show you how to write it out, even though we have not talked about it yet. But that's how we'd write the finalized answer. Okay? That's it. That's how you got to do it. Jonathan, could you uh, move seats, please? 